I just get overwhelmed. Um, I'm overwhelmed now talking about it, about grace. I've grappled with life um, not fitting, being a square peg in a round hole. And it's by grace that I'm sitting here, living. That's grace for me, because I just feel like I'm so unworthy of it. But yeah, I feel now I am worthy of it through him. And I thank him every day for that. Um, real mates are there because they're your friends. Um, they don't want to wait until your house is perfect. They're not waiting until you're in the right place. They're just there regardless, um, and that's what God is. If, if I've done something bad, and if we, if we do things bad, I think we all recognise and appreciate there's consequences of doing that, um, you know, whether that's punishment, for example. But actually, God has taken all that punishment upon himself. So that grace, you know, that never ceases to amaze me. And I do challenge myself to continually try and remind myself of that amazing grace. It reminds me of a song that says, not because of who I am, but because of what you've done. Not because of what I've done, but because of who you are. I think God's been taking me on a journey of how to receive grace. Um, I can tend to be hard on myself. So hearing him say that I can have grace for myself <laughs> and that he's given me grace. I've experienced a lot of God's grace in my life and I'm so glad there's no quota or rationings. So actually in those moments of disappointment, of heartache, of hurt, God has constantly reminded me that he's He's there with me. He's journeying with me. God does not leave me behind just because I'm old. It's having a standard to aim for, but knowing that we might not always meet it. And it's okay because we have a loving Father. God's grace is amazing. It's around us every single day. And uh, sometimes we experience it, but don't realize it. Um, sometimes we run away from it. And I think we have to make the conscious choice to receive God's grace. Like, it's always there for us, but we want to choose to go towards God when we've sinned, when we made a mistake, when we feel unworthy, but we have to choose to go to him to receive what he's got for us and not run away. I'm a child of God. He loves me. I know who I am. I am who he says I am. I think noticing times in my life where he's cared for me and um, He's loved me and showed favour to me. Um, knowing that I'm nurtured, that he's going to help me through and um, grow me in the way I need to be grown. God's grace is by realising that my value uh, isn't found in what others say uh, of me um, or what others don't say of me. Uh, that it's not found in what people have done for me uh, or what other people won't do for me, um, but actually that who I am and my worth is defined by who he says I am um, and the price that he was willing to pay for me. That if I make a mistake, I'm still loved by God. I'm still his son. If I do really, really well and get everything right, I'm still loved by God and I'm still his son. He doesn't love me any more or any less based on my actions or my performance. And the closer we kind of get to him in relationship, the more we understand and the more we see who we are in him and then we can fully kind of experience that grace and that's what's happened in my life.